right? Uh, so I hope that you have seen that we have published uh, our class links, sorry, examination link in Edmodu. So now what you have to do is not now actually by next week, what you have to do is please log into your Edmodu account and complete your first term examination. So that is there in the grade nine English medium class. Uh, so it is first term text grade nine English medium, 21 questions, 60 minutes. You have to complete that by next week, right? So if you like, if you missed any lesson, I would like to do the. Uh, if you miss any lessons, I would like to remind you these things from the beginning. So what we have already discussed, and we have discussed about our very first lesson, which is specifications, and we have discussed about the second lesson, which is electronic spreadsheet as well. Now we are in the third lesson, but uh, I would like to give you a small revision on these two lessons for those who are facing examinations this time, or those who late to join or those who couldn't join. So you can just come to, uh, you can just uh, go through this lesson again and learn about that. The specification, the first lesson means when you want to buy a new computer or when you want to update your computer, you need to look at the specifications. Specifications are used to, right? Why specification are used? Specifications are used to explain the features that we need. So basically there is qualitative and quantitative features of the components or the computer, right? So when you want to buy a computer, you need to think about your needs. That is number one. When you want to buy a computer, you need to think about needs, right? The basic needs are, so it should, it, it, it is uh, basically depending on your requirement. So let's say you need a computer to, uh, let's say you need a computer to, uh, do graphic designing or 3D animation, then your specification is different. But if you want to do, use this for routine tasks or just attending classes, then there are different set of needs. So based on the needs, this it differs. Right? Based on the need, based on the requirement, we need to decide which kind, what kind of computer that you need. Whether if you want to play games, different computer. If you want to access internet, a different specification. Graphic designing, 3D animation, movie editing, different, different specification based on the user. Need. There are different users basically, different users, programmers, software engineers, developers, designers, 3D animators, or audio, like multimedia authoring people. So different, different roles. So they use computers for different tasks. So you as a routine user, you can get an average computer, but if you are a web developer or software engineer or programmer, or if you are a graphic designer or 3D editor, you need to think about some high-end computer which is supporting those features. So there are different kinds of categories of computers we learn, portable computers and desktop computers. So not just desktop, so the computers that you can Keep in one place that is non portable. So, including servers, where the servers are used? Yes, where are the servers are used in which places? Servers used in? Yes, come on, tell me the answer. Server computers, where are these server computers? I computers are used? Banks. Okay, anything else? To manage network resources, they are used. Banks to manage network resources. Basically, servers are used in the places where you want to serve a lot of clients. So bank is serving a lot of clients, yes. A web server, a website is serving a lot of clients. If you host a website, you need to serve a lot of clients. If you are a company like Google, YouTube, a search engine or search engine providing company, ISP or internet service provider. You need to serve a lot of people. 
server computers are used where a lot of people can use a single computer for simultaneous access. They are providing simultaneous access, that means access in the same time. So those places we need to use servers. Simultaneous access to the Angular servers would have to be a good user to service. They know that Google, Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, uh, then uh, SLD, Dialog, these parties need to use servers. So, servers are high end computers, high powerful computers. If you use a good way, you can use a good way. A single computer can be consumed by thousands of users simultaneously. That is a server. So workstations, yeah, the workstations are used. Yes, yeah. graphic design in video editing, you can use workstations. Any, anywhere else? So gaming. Sorry? Gaming. Gaming. Gaming, yes, for gaming, actually multi-user gaming. So if multi-user gaming, then if high-end gaming, you need to use servers. Multi-user or high-end gaming, you need to use these servers. Sorry, workstations. And uh, graphic design in 3D animation, editing, maybe for small computers serving like 10, 20, 10, 20 people, you can use workstation as a server. Workstation like a good survey of the power but for small amount of users, like 10, 20 users, you can assign that as a server. Maybe small lab, school labs, you can use a workstation as a server. In your uh, maybe at a gaming center, right? For small scale company. So servers can be workstations. Desktop computers, you know already. So what desktop computers are, we all are using that for general purpose. All in one computers where it is mostly used. The all in one computers. All in one computers. Yes. Yes. All in one computers. All in one computers. Yes, we are that is used. All in one computers. No idea. It is a it is like a desktop computer, but there is no system in it. Oh, uh, no, there is a system unit. Mm -hmm. There is a system unit. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is no binded to the monitors. Yeah, outside. that is everything together, right? I, I, have you seen these iMac computers? Actually, these computers are used in showrooms or maybe reception counters, showrooms, shops, because it saves space, right? Because everything is it, in one place, no? Less wiring and it saves space and looks nice. To the users so most of the places we have the reception counters these all-in-one computers are used because it saves more space you can see in a very small place you can keep this all-in-one this is iMac and this is also iMac and there are like EVs all-in-one PC this is another one in Sri Lanka EVs they produce all in one computer that that is also similar to iMac, looks like iMac. The outer look, less expensive, right? It's a full touch sensitive one. Okay, so then that is used in shops, front counters, front officers, reception counters, because it is convenient and saves space, right? Okay. Then Right, next thing is mobile computers, laptops.
right? Mobile computers, laptops, notebooks, tablet computers. Laptops are good for office users because it is portable. It is easy to use, it's portable. Notebooks is good for mobile, uh, mobile computers. Right. So then tablet computers, it is also for mobile use. Like you, if you want to move here and there, so it gives more battery. So it is convenient to keep in and it's convenient to keep in your pocket or bag. Smartphones are very convenient or so very highly portable computer. So these are all in one computer. These are also all in one computers, but these are basically portable computers. Portable means you can use it mobile in as a mobile computer. You can pick and run. It's portable. Can move it to another another location easily. And uh, so peripheral devices. Next, we learn about peripheral devices. Because to learn the specification, you need to know about the peripheral devices. So what are these peripheral devices? Yes. What are these peripheral devices? Any idea? Devices that connects to the system unit from uh, uh, outside to get inputs and outputs. Devices that connects, yes. Out, outside from the system unit. Yes, devices actually which are external to the motherboard or external to the system unit. Even that, rather than mentioning external to the system unit, I would like if you can tell external to the motherboard. Right, external to the motherboard means like uh, the devices, these devices basically, these devices are connected to the motherboard using these devices are connected to the motherboard using uh, a wire. These devices are connected to using motherboard using a wire or sometimes not using a wire. Sometimes it can be uh, using wireless medium, right? Wires or wireless medium, right? That is basically, uh, that is basically peripheral. Peripheral means something connected to the motherboard externally, right? Those are called peripherals, right? So under peripheral category, there are three categories. That is input device, output device, and storage devices. Those are the peripheral devices that you can see. Input, output, and uh, input devices, output devices, and uh, secondary storage devices are the peripheral devices. So, it's not peripheral. Input devices, output devices, and the secondary storage devices. So, those are called peripheral devices. Okay. Then specification, the computer specification means, so first of all, we need to know about what are these specifications. Specifications means the qualitative or quantitative feature, maybe the single ruled is a qualitative feature. 60 GSM is the thickness, 40 pages, these are quantitative, these numbers are quantitative. Quantitative or qualitative features. Okay, tell me about a computer, what are the specifications? So what are the what are the specification related to the computers? Can you tell? RAM, CPU. RAM, CPU. Okay. PRMs. Okay, these are the devices, no? But what are the? Uh, I'm not asking about the devices. Devices limit to them at all. Them at all. Eva gave me specifications. What are the specifications? You said about devices, but I need to know about the specifications. What about the devices? Tell me about the specifications, please. So, what are the specifications? Yes, Hari, RAM nam mokadas, RAM make one other specification. You can say RAM speed, example, or RAM size, RAM capacity. So, likewise, tell me the specification. What are the devices? Okay, keyboard, mouse, maybe the Optical, optical keyboard or mouse, maybe mac optical or mechanical. So that is a qualitative feature. Optical or mechanical. That is about the keyboard. Monitor, 
What are the specification about the monitor? Tell me, guys. Size. Pixels. Size, number of pixels, resolution. Mean the resolution. That is resolution means horizontal pixels into vertical pixels. That is called resolution. That is one thing. Eka hari. What else? Size. Monitor size seka. Size seka money ni diagonally, right? This monitor size is measured using diagonal coordinations, right? The monitor size is measured using diagonal coordinates. Diagonal means it's not vertical, it's not horizontal, it's diagonal. Diagonal can be carne or say this that is called diagonal. Just give me a minute. I think we have a power cut. We need to shift to the other connection. Okay, can you guys hear me? Hello. Can you hear me or difficult? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Is there any lagging? Or... No, sir. Okay. Just give me one minute. I'll connect to the solar network. Right. We discuss about the monitor. Now, can you tell me what are the specifications for processor, central processing unit? What are the specifications? Processing speed, course. Processing speed. speed. Yes, exactly. What the brand? Brand. Yes. Whether it is Apple or whether it is AMD or whether it is Intel, that is a qualitative. The number of cores. Correct. Number the of cores. Number of cores. cores. Yes. Cores. Dual core. Quad core, hexa core, octa core, deca core, dual core can cause deca, two cores. Quad core means four cores. Hexa core, six cores. And octa core, eight cores. Deca core, ten cores. So number of cores, that is also correct. Cores can number of processing units inside the CPU. How many processing units inside the CPU? That is also a specification of it. Speed. Number of cores, brand. So logical processes. Sorry? Logical processes. And logical processes like I3, I7, I5, I9, dual core, core to duo. Yes, those are also concerns. Correct. Okay, these are the features for processor. So what are the features for random access memory or main memory? Speed, the speed, the slot, the, speed. the number of slots. Number of DDR version. And the version that is basically deciding the speed, right? Speed kilogram RAM speed. Anything else? RAM size. RAM size or the capacity, yes. RAM size, capacity, and RAM mm -hmm. speed. RAM speed is really important. A lot of actually students, when you even replace your RAM. You are not thinking about the RAM speed. Type of the RAM? Yeah, type of the RAM is not, uh, yes, that is also specification. Like DDR3, yeah. DDR2. That is actually anyway deciding the speed of the RAM and the version, right? Okay, but this is like, you can install multiple RAMs, no? Uh, install multiple random access memories. It is possible to install multiple random access memories in your computer. So like this. So let me show an image. Okay, you can see the first image. Second image, there are two RAMs. Third image, there are two RAMs. And this image, you can see one, two, three, four random access memories. Okay, this image you can see one, two, three, four random access memories. When you install multiple RAMs or multiple random access memories, right, you need to consider about when you install multiple random access memories or multiple RAMs, you need to consider about the speed. Okay, uh, then 
because like let's say you install the ram without considering the speed so one let's say four amps four amps are running on two speeds or four speeds then it is a problem right so here let's say there are two rams me ram deke speed deka dekak na it might slow down your computer or it might restart your computer sometimes it's uh, giving an error sometimes right therefore you need to consider about the speed of the ram speed of the ram means how fast you memorize how fast your ram can memorize that is called speed of the ram that is a concern capacity is of course capacity is really needed for your memory size that is the capacity hard disk what are the specifications for hard disk size capacity the capacity capacity and the type type of the hard disk type of the hard disk whether it is ssd magnetic hard disk or ssd hard disk the type of the hard disk and the capacity of the hard disk let's go to the side connection RPM. Yeah, RPM. RPM is the speed of the hard disk. Like uh, hence we learn about lot of specifications, and the next thing is okay. Here the CPU specification we learn. the speed size right so which is measured in gigahertz we learn about hertz gigahertz and the brand type of processor dual core single core and the brand or the version of the processor hard disk size speed we learn so how hard disk speed is measured to how the hard disk speed is measured what is the unit rpm what is rpm means rotates per minute rotation speed that is called revolutions per minute revolutions per minute or rotations per minute that is called the rpm of hard disk when right? rpm revolution rounds per minute or revolutions per minute that is measured in hard disk and there's another thing hard disk speed is measured using mb hard disk speed is used measured using mbps mbps means megabit per second Yes, me sorry, megabytes per second, right? MB, capital B, megabyte here, capital B. That is megabyte per second, which is used to measure the speed of the hard disk. Here, the read speed and write speed, megabyte per second. Sir, how can we check it? Sorry. How can we check it? So there, this software you can use, Crystal Disk Mark. one thing that is to check the speed of the hard disk crystal disk mark there are different different other software also but crystal disk mark is uh, like it's a free tool which can use to check the speed of the hard disk crystal disk mark okay monitor size we learn the diagonal means this axis you can see it's not x it's not y and type of the monitor CRT, LCD, LED. Which is better? LED. Yeah, LED is better. CRT is old. Mm. I think you have seen the CRT monitors, this old version. CRT monitor, which is this old version of monitor. I think you have seen that, right? But now this is not used because it uses lot of power. It consumes lot of power. Now we are using LCD or LED. actually lcd monitor when you touch you can see that uh, when you touch the monitor uh, here lcd monitor pressure when you pressurize so when you touch but don't do is like uh, you see thing i'm not sure whether that image is available yes here when you pressure using the finger you can see kind of liquid kind of thing here This is in LCD monitors. When you press it, you can see, see, you can feel, but don't press it harder. But LED monitors, you don't uh, like that feature. That is not that much visible. It's not actually, mostly, it's not there. But in LCD, you can feel this, this thing. 
and lcd monitors are less brighter than led and mostly in the like the uh, lighter environment you cannot see the monitor properly you cannot see the uh, image properly so that is a problem of lcd but leds are more common nowadays okay that is about the specifications we learn okay another thing is vga and sound cards so what is this vga vga card or which your video yes, traffic sir. Sir. Yes, there are two versions of vga one is onboard vga onboard vga is where your monitor connection is available in the motherboard itself connection to the monitor is available in the motherboard itself you can see this image connection to the monitor this blue color port is available in the motherboard so we call onboard here this one is also onboard right connection to the monitor this blue color one is available in the motherboard itself so is it good or bad yeah. good good it is less expensive then right so the connection is available in the motherboard it's less expensive but the thing is it's not high performing it's some average performance right it's not high end high performing one therefore the people who play games they install vga card or sometimes we call graphic card they install a graphic card to the computer why because they, when they install this kind of graphic card you can see it is high performing right that's why there are fans to cool down that because uh, it's generate in more heat to cool down there are fans so if you have this kind of graphic card it will accelerate your graphics and you can use your computer for uh, graphic related work like graphic designing graphic editing video editing uh, maybe 3d animation it will be faster in this kind of computer so that is the advantage so another thing is when you onboard graphic card graphic adapter is not working you can install a separate onboard ekak monitor ekata in nattam hariyata signal like nattam samarla ada paata wenas vela yana nil paata vela yana paata ak nattu wena screen ekak samarla ada thiyena prashna ogo gola kaha paata vela yana e wage velawata graphic card ekak use karanna puluwan externally okay so basically it introduced this three ports vga dvi and hdmi hdmi is high quality support audio video both sound cards same reason they are on board sounds but if on board sound is not enough not quality enough you can install a separate sound card so these three colors we learn green is for the audio out pink microphone and blue is audio in then you need to look at the pre installed software what are the installed software etc and also some other features other than this technical features like warranty three warranties are there manufacturer warranty is the warranty given by the producer manufacturer so let's say hp for an example extended warranty is given by the shop owner so let's say abc computers selling hp computer then hp gives one year warranty abc computers can give another one year extra but they will charge some extra money for that that is for the extended warranty on site warranty means the part warranty or in case of the maintenance or repair or replace of the part they will give the on site warranty that is for the parts price you need to consider and the service staff per se so those are the important features that you need to look at also the ports that available so these are some properties that you need to look into so we learn about this in the chapter number 1 so that will be there in the examination so you will get questions from chapter number 1 so the next set of questions that you will get from the chapter number 2 is from the electronic spreadsheets okay first of all i would like to ask small question from you can you tell me the relationship between the workbook worksheet and the spreadsheet so what is the relationship workbook worksheet spreadsheet okay. what is the relationship spreadsheet workbook and worksheet yes
Workbook contains spreadsheets. Workbook contains spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. Workbook contains worksheets. Workbook contains worksheets. Okay. I agree with that. Workbook contains worksheets. Workbook is like consist of worksheets. Worksheet will in the workbook. That is correct. Any other any other idea? Yes. Workbook is a single page and worksheet is a, a bundle of workbooks. Yeah, that and, is also correct. And workbook. spreadsheet. Uh, okay, spreadsheet. And spreadsheet is uh, all the things together, worksheets and workbooks. Oh. The first part I agree, the second part I am not agreeing. The first part I agree is correct. Workbook contains a lot of worksheets. Workbook can have one or more worksheets. So, a lot of worksheets together, it creates the workbook. That is, workbook is the file that you are going to save. Workbook is the file that you are going to save in your computer. Workbook is the file that you are going to save in your computer is the workbook. Right? Work, then spreadsheet. 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 What is spreadsheet then? Workbook is okay, worksheet is okay, but what is spreadsheet? Yes? Spreadsheets are the softwares. Spreadsheets are, yes, spreadsheets are the software. Spread, spreadsheet is a software basically. Okay, that is the relationship of it. Workbook has multiple worksheets or multiple worksheets, one or more worksheets together create the workbook. Workbook is the, like say it is the file that we are going to save. Works, actually spreadsheet is the software which is used to manage workbooks and its worksheets. That is the clear definition. You have to give that definition properly, right? Worksheet well in Tama worksheet take a twila workbook had the workbook take a worksheet good up in a kako good up. It only workbook manage karana workbooks are worksheet manage karana software katama spreadsheet kill again. Ema had it again. Spreadsheet is the software which manage the workbook and its worksheets. That is correct. And how worksheet is created? How a worksheet is created? From the spreadsheet. That is similar. Work, uh, how, uh, I'm asking how a worksheet is created. Using columns and rows, right? It is a grid with columns and rows. When it intersect, it creates a cell. Actually, this set of cells aligned into columns and rows. Worksheet is a set of cells aligned into the columns and rows. How the name of cell is identified? How a cell is identified? How the name is given? How name is given to a cell? By the English letter and a number. Uh, English letter comes from the column, right? Column letter and the row number. Column letter followed by the row number gives the column letter follows by the row number gives the name of the cell which will be displayed in the name box. Okay, what's the difference between function and formula? I'm asking the things that I did, right? Sometimes you might confuse me. Function contains a uh, special syntax. Function contains a special syntax. But formula contains uh, values, numbers. No. Not exactly. A formula is a mathematical uh, expression. A formula is a mathematical expression. I agree. That is correct answer. Then what is function? A uh, function is uh like key you it, it's like using keywords yeah 
function is the mathematical or logical process which is introduced using a keyword function is a mathematical or logical process which is introduced by using a keyword example sum mean max average if those are functions rank those are functions count right those are functions special keywords are used to introduce some mathematical or logical process then formulas are the mathematical expressions which uses addition subtraction division multiplication power so that is a mathematical expression so that's the difference ganita may vidiyata mathematical expression ekak vidiyata thiyenona formula ekak vishesha vachana walin thiyenona sum min max count if wage ena function ekak so if it is a mix then it again is a formula right mix of function and formula will also become a formula okay we learn about that so that is it we learn about the basic tools then we learn about the cut paste undo redo check spellings that is basic tools we learn about the components in the spreadsheet the columns which have in column letters rows having row numbers and the selected cell is g7 it is column g row 7 it is g7 and the cell range cell range is a selected cell set of cells then name box which will indicate the name and the function or formula bar which will give the expression to do the calculations so that is it then we learn about the alignment formatting bold italic underline font size changing border change we learn about that then the alignment it can be vertically or horizontally aligned so this is to align horizontally center left right align left align right center align and another one justified is not here justify means align to right and left both borders right or it can be top align middle align or bottom align that is vertical align orientation how the text looks like wrap text will allow you to write text in the multiple lines in a single cell tani cell ekaka line keep ekata leyanna nan wrap karanna otherwise it will be written as one line right then merge and center will allow you merge in multiple cells then we learn about the currency format in the number format different formats of the number even the date and time we learn date and time is also a number then we learn about other formats as well um functions special keyword sum average max mean sum is taken total average is taken the average about the mean value not mean value actually average of the set of cells max and mean will give the relevant results these are mathematical operations which is using the formulas we learn about that. then finally we learn about charts and that's it do you have any questions to ask from me Okay. So it will be simple examination. Then I think you will get hundred out of hundred from the exam because you know everything now. I have even done a revision. I discuss everything for those who miss the lessons. This will be advantage. Anyway, I'll send you the video very soon. So I'll try to send today itself if possible. But unfortunately, you can see the power is not available. and i'm running out of my battery in the solar system even i hope i i don't think that i can continue this for two hours one or two hours so anyway i'll try to upload and send you today itself i'll try but not sure if not i'll give you tomorrow because you need to watch the video again to face the examination all the questions are they are covering the examination but you have to do but when you start don't stop in the middle right when you start don't stop in the middle so here you can see i am not going to view the questions then you will see the questions so there will be 21 questions included in the mcq and essay if you cannot see the quiz please let me know you should be there in the correct group your class is i repeat your class is grade 9 english medium tuesday 2022 that is your class. Uh, excuse me sir yes 
Can you send me the class code to join? I will be joining the class. Is not possible normally. Anyway, see the code now. Okay, it is back here. Send you in the chat. Join to the class. I have sent it using the chat section. Is going to the, join to the correct class, right? This is the code. Okay, then. I hope uh, you will answer all the questions and let's see you all with the results next day. And next day classes uh, will be actually, I will do the quick discussion of the questions. But the thing is like, uh, if you have not the answers, I'll give you a chance to write the answers next day. That depends based on your feedback, I'll decide what to do. And week after next day, not next week, week after next week is due to you because we have the new year vacation. So that class won't be conducted. That is just one day for the new year vacation. After that, again, you have the classes, right? Anyway, next day, please join to the join using the same link to discuss the things in the paper. Okay. Good night. See you all next week. If you have questions, just send me. Okay, now don't send it to me. I'll resolve that. Uh, Senuka, I think you have to send it to me in the WhatsApp. I'll resolve that problem. So if you have any problem, send it to me to WhatsApp. I'll resolve that. Then good night. See you all next week. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.